She started a career in theater, moved to films and owned the OTT platform like no one else. She is the quintessential Netflix girl, but for us, she is the Marathi Mulgi from Pune. Let's enjoy a Sunday brunch over a traditional Maharashtrian meal with Radhika Apte. Hi Radhika, welcome Hi. to Sunday brunch. Kashi ahe tu. Kashi ahe tu. Kashi ahe tu. Mitchi ke. So I'm really happy to have you on Sunday brunch. Uh, first things first, uh, you know, after a really long period of time, I'm going to have some Maharashtrian food thanks to you. Yeah. So if I come to you in Pune, which are the places that you will take me to? Um, it's very honestly, things have changed in Pune a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so sometimes I go there and the old joints are not there. But um, I mean, uh, there is a misal place I could take you to. Like if you want to really have proper Maharashtrian food. There's a thali place. There, there, there's a very, very famous appachi khichdi. Then there are lots of pav bhaji places, and there's chaat places. There's like so many other things. There also, and I believe there's this spicy misal also that you yeah. get in Pune. So are there any particular hangout points as a child uh, that you always visited? And no, I've never been a misal fan. Uh, but there's a most famous place in Kurushi Bag. Um, yeah, there's, a, there's one in Kurushi If you go to yeah. Kurushi and ask anybody, that's basically the most famous. Do you, do you revisit any of these places every time you go to Pune or not? No, as much? only if I have guests who want to explore and just sort of see these places. But otherwise, I don't particularly go much. Yeah, but you like Maharashtrian food? I mean, I eat that every day. Okay. Yeah. So what are the what is it that you eat every day in Maharashtra? Puri bhaji and amti, like amti is in dal. Huh. The one that you want that you eat, just the preparation, the recipes are a little different. Okay. Uh, you know, but but just like normal. Yeah. Is there any particular dish that your mum makes and you really love and look forward to? Uh, yeah, but they are not Maharashtrian. Oh, is it? So what is it that you like? <laughs> I mean, there's a the fish curry that my mum makes, which is really uh, lovely. It's like the South Indian preparation. There are some okay. Konkani fish curries that I really enjoy eating. Oh, uh, so yeah, it's not necessarily Maharashtra, but my food, everyday food at home is Maharashtra. Yeah, and uh, do you cook? I cook, but I don't really make um, Maharashtra food very well. I can't mm -hmm. make make rotis. I, sabzis I make, but I'm ah. not like I don't know the recipes by heart. I have to ask for it and I have to make it. But I make West Western food. Easy, easily, and okay. that's what I normally make. I make soups and salads and roast meals and grills and stuff like that. So. Roti banate ho aap? No, I can't make it. You right. can't? No. Okay. So Radhika can't make rotis, but today I'm going to teach her how to make round rotis. Are you up for some roti lessons? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. You basically have to put oil in the middle and then fold it. Oh, like it's that. Triangular. See, I thought I'm going to give you these lessons. Not bad. I think. <laughs> first of all, I've never made anything ever sitting down on a chair. <laughs> yeah, sitting down and making rotis is, or chapatis rather is something that even I haven't tried. Yeah. Not bad, Radhika. It's not round here <laughs> Okay, so this is how it is. Radhika, can you show yours? Yeah, hey, this is mine. And this is mine. Comment and let us know which one do you think is more round. Okay, so that was fun, Radhika. Are you a bit hungry now? I'm very hungry. All right. Yeah. So our Maharashtrian thali is right here and it looks delicious. But this doesn't look like roti, is it bhakri? No, no. Or? Is it bhakri? No, yours is I think chapati. Yeah, is that it? is probably bhakri. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but it's like some quite basic blah. Uh, this, yeah. is, this is probably vanga se bharit, no? Oh, nice. Okay. It's like a butter, chupa, jivala, chupa, tomato, sa, rasa, sa, no? masala, bhakri. So Radhika, both your parents are doctors. Mm. Were they? How was their reaction uh, when they got to know you want to be an actor? Did they want you to be a doctor? I mean, they wanted me to do do something else, mm. but they were okay with it. They were quite liberal. 
and tell us about your journey to becoming an actor when you first moved to Mumbai. Curious to know which places you visited when you came here. Then Bada Pao or Safe Puri and things like that. I think I eat Safe Puri like most of the, like you know week at least three four times only Safe Puri. Even today. Any particular joint or do you make it at no, home the, or the one that is next to my house? Okay, basically so. There's this guy who makes it makes delicious safe puri. Also, the Prithvi outside Prithvi has a guy who sits. Yeah, it's really good safe puri, and so it doesn't upset my stomach. Uh, that's the most thing the, the water used. Yeah, is, um, this thing. But I mean, I didn't have the money to eat fan at fancy places. Even today, I, my friends make fun of me because I don't know many places to go out. In now you have the money to go to fancy places. So, is there a fancy place that you visit in Mumbai? Not really. I don't know many places. I'm not a very social person, so I don't know many places. Let's play a fun game. Yeah. It's called Five Second Fire. Okay. okay. I'm terrible at it. I'm terrible. Okay. You. Let's. We'll know now yeah. how good or bad you are at I'm this. Really Three names your parents call you by. Oh my God. Um, Manu, Dingu, Ani, <laughs> uh, Radhika. Oh, Mani, Dingu, Manu. Manu. So Manu. Mama, 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 mama says Manu, Aga, Kai, something, you know. Yeah. My dad calls me Dingu, and my grandfather used to call me Babai. There, it has no meaning, <laughs> you know, but they used to call me that. Okay. It would sound really cute and loving. Three things you would steal from a hotel room. Bathroom. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> There's some confession happening I, here. And I went down. I said, "Can I please take this? I really like it." <laughs> Once from a very pretty resort, I took the bag. They had like these beautiful cotton bags. They had, but I asked for that. The bathroom I stole. <laughs> but and today I, morning only I, I I had the other bathroom somewhere else because traveling and I'm like where is this bathroom from I said if I go to the hotel again I'll steal another one for you <laughs> if they're watching it now they'll know they don't know which hotel <laughs> <laughs> okay three excuses you give for not going for a party uh, stomach upset <laughs> you're caught <laughs> yeah exactly I'm shooting. <laughs> I'm not in town. Or oh, the best excuse is to not give one and say, if I can make it, I'll make it. You know. Okay. Three friends you have in the industry. In the industry, uh, Kalki, uh, Vinay Pathak, Gulshan Devaya. Okay. Three things you say when you're really shocked. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. And oh my god. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think all within five seconds, so not bad, Radhika. Not bad, huh? not bad at all. I think your questions are better. People ask like, choose between this uh, person and that person. You go like, how do you choose between this? Yeah. Three Marathi bad words that you use often. I don't um like chaila. <laughs> Bowered. Oh, these are not bad words, but I don't abuse much in Marathi. I think that's because. It's just it, even in uh, Hindi, I don't abuse much. The only abusive word I use is "fuck" in English. I don't think it's very really abusive. Um, there's nothing wrong in you know saying "fuck," but in Marathi, I think my yeah, "chaila" is like a "chaila" is a short form for "chaila." Then you know you say like it's like a I don't know <laughs> "chaila." That's khala ni shakke ne khana as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, sounds really good when you say it. It doesn't sound like it's a bad. Ah, word. exactly. I don't use it like it's not like you can't say chaila to somebody to abuse them. But I would say chaila is too cheap. Myla, no, 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 no. It's okay. something else, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, now here's something that not too many people know about, and I did a quick check and asked my friends that did you know that Radhika Apte is married? Is something that not too many people know about. I don't even believe in the institution of marriage very much, so it's like. It's not like all oh, that. It doesn't feel like that to me. That's why when they call me for those marriage-related magazines, I'm the most biggest disappointment. Uh, let's also talk about travel then. Do you enjoy traveling? A lot. I've always, always enjoyed traveling. Okay, so which is the last place you visited? <sighs> Ahmedabad. It was really <laughs> wasn't fun. Like, all right. They have incredible architecture. Right. Uh, some really crazy buildings and stuff. Hmm. So we. Had those as locations. It was right. quite incredible to see them. Absolutely love Europe, um, and um, I, yeah, and I, because I dive, I've recently visited a lot of other sites, which is not on land, which is underwater. <laughs> but 
those have been incredible too. But are you, are you big on adventure sports then? And no, not so much, but diving, yes. Yeah, and which has been your favorite diving spot then? I mean, um, last year I went to Galapagos, which is uh, in South America, hmm. um, one of the most like crazy places to go diving. So, yeah, it's incredible. And what kind of a traveler are you? So when you go, are you more into sightseeing or would you rather chill in a hotel? Um, neither. Who cares? Uh, so I like to walk. I don't like to go to touristy places, but I just like to walk. I walk a lot in a okay. place that I go to and you discover so many things when you're just walking across the city. You come across lots of places um, and you just stop on the way, visit them, eat at different places. But I just, I just like to explore the city by walking. And are you very experimental with your cuisine uh, or your palate? Do you try um, out the local food as well? I try local food for sure. But okay. since I left Quit Meat, uh, my options have sort of changed. <laughs> right. Uh, but but I do try. I do try a lot of uh, different food, and I I like to know local people wherever I go because that's the best way of getting to know any place. What are the perks of being an actor? Sometimes you don't have to stand in queues. <laughs> <laughs> then. Um, Sometimes you are given uh, really good food even if you're traveling economy in a plane. <laughs> These, yeah. I guess, some but weird gift hamper sent to you, your house. Do you travel economy? Lots of times. Why is it? Because I go to London almost every month. Okay. And most of the times I buy the ticket to two to three hours before I have to fly. Because oh, okay. my dates are all over the place. Yeah. So it'll be like, suddenly work got cancelled, okay, I'll go to London. And then a business flight is six lakhs. Oh. Why would I? Why would I do that? Like, absolutely logical. I would never spend yeah. that much money for an eight-hour flight. So I'll buy an economy. I just don't see status uh, as an important thing. Um, I think it's a, it's a status in many ways is made to provide that divide. Um, it's a power equation, right. and I don't see any value in it. Um, just because I've been told by actually that you need to travel business, you need to maintain that successful s status of yours and hmm. you know, you, you are an actor, you need to be and I find that uh, discriminating, I find that very dangerous. We'll play one more fun game with sure. you. If you have, you need to show this part or then here. Never have I ever stolen anything. <laughs> and we know what. It's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's like a bloody bathroom. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever pretended to like a co-star even though I haven't. I don't. Mm, it's sort of middle. Yeah? Okay. Never have I ever fake complimented an actor for a film although I did not like it. Oh, I have. I have. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever lost my cool out of fan but faked niceness. I think, no, I, when I lose it, it's obvious. Yeah, have you had any experience like that which you would like to share? Any fan that really pissed you off? Yeah, all the time, actually. They what? just say that, yeah, they just think that they just come and they shove the camera in your face or you know they said but one only but only one I'm asking for only one picture <laughs> and I never give pictures um, consistently I have okay. I never give anybody photographs and only two people I give photographs immigration officers and police uh, <laughs> because I mean I don't have an option <laughs> but uh, otherwise I never give pictures and it's really not an a form of arrogance but I genuinely think that it's initially I used to yeah and then I realized that you give it to two people but you can't give it to 20 right but then I thought then how do I choose which two people to give it to so I thought I would not give it to anybody because I don't like the culture of taking taking selfies, selfies. yeah uh, and not indulging like last night I was I'd gone somewhere and this man old man couldn't walk and so mm. his daughter came and said he can't walk can you come and take a picture so I said, I don't take pictures and I consistently maintain that. I said, I don't take pictures, I'll come and say hello to him. So I went and met his whole family, which was a better thing for all of us, I think, rather than just taking pictures and then they don't like the pictures, then they'll want different pictures. You know what I mean? Like it's an endless process. So it's not, 
be being arrogant. Yeah, but tell me something. Don't actors work for recognition? So I hate recognition. Really? I do not like. And that's so ironic. Being know, an actor. I do not like recognition. If people start looking at me, I want to run away. Like I don't like to be recognized. Only if you're going to really help me, like break the queue and like go ahead, then yeah. I love to be recognized. <laughs> I love the perks. I do not like the attention. So, what was your motivation to be an actor in first place? Then, I really, okay. So, acting <laughs> doesn't mean a recognition. Actors don't become actors just because they want to be famous. That's a different kind. Some people like acting. <laughs> That's why they become actors. Uh, never have I ever used my star power to get out of a. Tricky situation. Oh, I have. <laughs> of course, I have. Some once I got shoved, but sometimes I've it's been saved. Yeah, you just mentioned about the queue as well and how yeah. it helps you. No, but once I was arrogant, I was like, I was really late, and I said, okay, I'm just gonna go to the business line because I was flying economy as usual. And then I nobody recognized me, and they made me go all the way back to the economy line. So I was like, okay, I learned. I said, I'm never going to use this again ever. But then sometimes I use it still. All right. Never have I ever got arrested. Oh, never. No. Okay. Actually, I, ha- I was about to get ar- arrested, but that was not um, legal from the police side. <laughs> so we What were, was it? Tell I us think more. We were we were in a long, long time back in college. Hmm. We were partying at a friend's house, and the neighbors complained, and they called the police because we were making a lot of noise. And the police came, and this is really true. They wanted to bribe, and we didn't know. That for this they cannot take us to the police station. So they said that you are all coming to the police station with us, and we got really panicked. They had no women constables, and you, no men co- police officer can take you to the police station. They need women constables, and we didn't know that. So we all panicked, and uh, they asked for money, and we were. It was really really late. So it was about like, you know, I'm going to be in deep trouble for say, speaking honestly. <laughs> One day I'm going to be in deep trouble. But <laughs> well, that's fine. You are in a no-filter zone where you say what you feel like and yeah. you express how you're feeling. I don't know. <laughs> Radhika, it's been wonderful chatting with you Thank over you. this Sunday brunch. If not, then I'll get arrested for sure soon. <laughs> Let's finish our meal before yes, that. Absolutely. <laughs> He's got some insights into your. Is that fish? Yeah, that is. You want to try by any chance? No. Okay. See you all. It looks so good. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, salad is the only thing you you actually eat, right? Huh? <laughs> <coughs> Spicy. Hmm.